So here's why change is so hard, because we tend to surround ourselves by like-minded people. Smokers hang out with smokers and then complain it's hard to quit smoking. When you hang out with people who are out of shape or sedentary or inactive, your odds of conforming to their lifestyle becomes exponential. Binge drinkers hang out together. People who are chemically and neurologically addicted to politics and news and fighting and arg arguing, those people always seem to find each other. Pessimists hang out together, right? What's that saying about misery loves company? You know who else hangs out together? Optimists, encouragers, creative people, people who eat healthy, people who work out. If you can connect with two to three people uh, who are awake and kind of outside the matrix, people that understand that better physical health or better mental health or better spiritual health means having a better life, those are the people that need, they need to be your tribe. Begin to take those small steps to build your tribe in that direction. So how do we do that? Number one, begin to rebuild your tribe. Begin to surround yourself with like-minded people. Number two is this, uh, you've got to realize that change requires movement and movement always creates friction, always. The last little bit is this, find someone, someone to keep you on track. I call it the doctor. Maybe it's a financial expert. Maybe it's a relationship expert. And I say expert, just somebody that who has done something right, right? Get a coach, get an accountability partner, find a group, but y'all consistency is the key. You know, doing one push-up won't make you fit. Eating one salad won't make you skinny. Eating one donut won't make you fat. It's our habits that make us who we are. Say that again. It is our habits that make us who we are. Every choice you make, good or bad, is a vote for or against who you want to become. It's those small, consistent steps that take you to great places, that open great doors. And I'm telling you this from personal experience. Your mess can become your message, man. Uh, if I can help, let me know. Once you know, I love you. Um, I'm rooting for you, and I will see you soon. Hey, and don't forget to hop over to the Impactivist Facebook group. Thanks so much for listening. I hope you have a great day, man. I'll see you soon. Oh, my gosh. That was good.